Right, hi everybody. Um, thought we'd do something a little bit different. So I've been setting a load of people up with uh, Crazy Caller phones, um, which you may or may not have come across before. They come in different sizes and widths uh, and in two different thicknesses of foam. Um, but I want to try something a little bit different. So normally what you do is you'd have one of these in the middle um, sandwiched with on the outside one of the lighter foams which is softer there and one of the heavier foams on the inside and that gives you a really good kind of performance when you're edging up to things but I got to thinking um, having watched a load of people at Fun Duro the other week um, actually it was last weekend wow that went quick um, Thinking about that and I was thinking, okay, I wonder what would happen if instead of using the big tall foams, which sort of sit quite close to the top of the phone, what about if we use the phones for the 1.9s, which are the 106s, and they'd sit a bit further in, giving us more compression before the rigidity cuts in. And then I thought, well, let's see if instead of using a hard foam and a soft foam what about what would happen if we just use soft foam so that's what we're going to try i've got some tusks um and we're going to try fitting them onto the xc23 so at the moment i've got lampreys on here and they did okay you can see they're still a little bit dirty but i'm wondering about okay let's fit some tusks on and compare them and see how they come out so we've got tusks we're going to fit them onto probably the best wheels around at the moment, which are the, I uh, don't know if you can see that, Stone Rocker V2s, uh, designed by Pierre Silva from Pro Crawler. Amazing wheel, um, super lightweight, really strong. And yeah, I think that could be a really, really good combination. So we're going to see if we can put Put one together so you can have a look i won't take you through the whole thing but hopefully we'll we'll start off with let's have a look what you get with the let's move this this is a new project just while i move it out of the way um utb 18 we're going to see if we can do something really interesting with the utb 18 more on that later though we'll get that out of the way over there right so let's have a look what you get in the pack so we've got these are the inners vented all the way through these are the outers now this is a new design and it's got captive nuts inside the ring which is really cool. And then that fits over there, like so. And then, oh, excuse me. And then those rings fit over the top of that. So there we go. So nice carbon, that goes over the top of the carbon to protect it, like so. And that's your clamp for your tire. Uh, hardware wise, We've got all the hardware we need there, with the exception of hardware for the um, adapters. Interesting. So we'll have to dig some of those out. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm pretty sure we've got some of those. Um, Phone-wise, we're going to try something, as I said, a little bit different. We're going to go with the Crazy Crawlers, FT Pros. Hold that that way, because I think that's the way you're looking at it. So you can see the different ways that these work where you can have thicker and thinner um, we're going to try something that i've not done before which is running all soft and also running the smaller inner foams or central foams as we should call it so it's going to look something like there we go two of these and then we're going to sandwich this inner foam in there like that and then the outer foam like that. So this is the softer, more compliant foam compared to this, which is a stiffer foam. So I'm hoping that will give us a bit more 
softness, but at the same time, because that's lower down, that's going to give us a bit more squishiness as well. Um, now, normally I'd say that's a bit too wide for tusks. So these are 20s, so 20 and 20. Um, but I think this is going to work quite nicely, but we'll try it out. So let's make a bit of space. We'll pop the first one in first. I think this is going to be the easiest way to do this, is pop one in first. Get that settled in and then pop the next one in. Like so. But yeah, we fitted some of these to somebody who's competing in the Funduro competition, not the actual Funduro. Um, went from sort of traditional foams to some of these and just came back absolutely over the moon with the performance. So. I thought, yeah, that's, let's give it a go. So we'll push all those in there. We'll get it all seated in. And you can see it's quite tight, but I think that's gonna help. That's what it's gonna do. Yeah, there we go. So, soft in the middle, hard on the outside, but when we put it all together, it's gonna push the foam together. And we should have a nice contact patch what I'm hoping for so I'm just going to take a peek make sure the things are lined up which they are right and let's start building this wheel up so at the moment you can see it's really fat and what I'm hoping is we're going to pull it together and that's going to give it more height and a bit more rigidity around the outside that's the theory so we're all going to be learning together and then we'll test them against my setup that's on the XC23 and see if there's a difference. Right, so thinking about this, this is gonna be a front. So what I wanna make sure is that the points are pointing forwards on the top, which means on the bottom, these bits will be pointing forward. So if I turn that over, you can see that that scoopy bit is Pointing, forward, pointing backwards, which gives us more grip that way, rather than that way. That's the theory anyway. Not sure if it's a big deal, but we'll try it that way and see how we go. Right, so the outside's here. So we're gonna pop this in here, first of all. No, we're not. <laughs> Let's put that in first, okay. So this is the inner ring. I've changed the design of this. It used to be 3D printed um, and was a little bit brittle. Well, I've never broke one, but that being said, it always felt a little bit unnerving. So this being a, what looks like some sort of injection molded plastic, it just seems to be a better way of doing it. So that's sitting nicely in there, all the way around, kind of got it even. Now I've forgotten, so points that way, so that goes in there, because that's the back. These have got amazing clearance, these, these um, wheels, really, really strong clearance. So they'll fit over your portals, which is fabulous. Um, and here's the screws. So what I like to do with these types, so we'll get these out here, and I'll line up one of these, and I want to put these through first, just because it makes it a lot easier to line up. They're going in nicely, like so. Try and line them up. What I'm hoping is I'll get one going. The cool thing now is that they've given us really, really long. Um, just making sure that's seated nicely before we get it all tightened up. They've given us really nice long screws now, which makes it a whole lot easier. Right, so I've missed massively on here. That one's in, there we go. So we'll do that one up a little bit and then we'll get the other sorted out. So having the metal captive nut just 
wins both ways because we know that it's going to grip up. Make sure that's sat nice. That's jumping out a little bit there. I want to make sure that before I do everything up, the tire's seated nicely. Well, let's get this next one in. But how cool do these look already? There we go. It's a really hot day today. It's really, really humid. And there's loads of those thunderflies, so you might see some running over the uh, running over my hands as I do this. So that's going in really nicely. Tighten that up. Now we won't know if this is a good idea until we've done them all up and see how it seats, and see if having that much foam, because it's a bit over foamed. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that affects the performance, but so far so good, I think. Oh, it feels like it missed. No, it didn't. I just haven't pushed it in enough. There we go. So there's a lot of clamping power on these. Different people have got different ideas as to how you're supposed to do these up. I kind of do random. Um, I think all the wheel manufacturers ought to do fives because then you can move around and you're always moving to a different one. And that'll make life much easier. I'm not sure how visually it'd look, but a five spoke's pretty cool, isn't it? So I'm not sure what you're seeing here. Because I can't see, so hopefully you can see the fact that I'm putting it in. I'll lean it like that as well, you can see. But you know, it's just some old bloke screwing in some screws with an MIP. So these are just standard two mil Having those long screws means it's quite a lot to wind in, but I feel like it's really, really going to clamp down nicely and we're screwing metal to metal effectively so that really helps as well make a really substantial wheel it's just starting to feel like it's tightening up now so I could in theory have used the electric but I like to have a feel of what's going on that's starting to get tight now I'm excited to feel see what whether the theory is actually going to work or not um, see if this is gonna grip out nicely oh, that was taking a lot Ah, that's taken a lot because the captive nut is spinning. That's weird, isn't it? That one looks like it needs to go in a lot more. Okay. So, we've got a nice side here moderately firm in the middle but you can feel the edge of the the tire so tusks have got quite a strong edge so you can feel that a little bit but that's sitting nicely and yeah, it's going it's dropping kind of I'm gonna say that's enough you know but we've got lots of squish but no side to side movement because of the center thing. Like the way that looks. It's a bulbous tire now. So we've got lots of squish on the sides, but I think that's pretty good. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, well look, I'm gonna, uh, I won't put you through going through all of these. What we'll do is we will, I'll come back to you when I've done a few more. 
and we'll go from there. And yeah, it feels nice. We've got edges that are slightly stiffer. We've got a nice fat tire, which I quite like because that gives me things to push against. So if I'm pushing up against the side, it's got me something to push back against. Um, and yeah, they're all on. So we're going to fit these on. Um, with the Pro Crawler ones, you get a choice of different depths. I'm going to try these and see. You can go really, really skinny on these because you've got space in here to get the portal on. But I want to go a little bit wider and we'll see how we go with those. So they take kind of standard hardware. Um, so those will just fit in there. Like so. so again, I'm not sure you need to watch all of these. So what I'm hoping we're going to see is we're going to have a little bit more pressure on the sidewalls, which will help when you're kind of pushing up against things. We've got a decent amount of compression, but it's not going to like squidge out completely. Um, I don't like it when they go get almost like flat. You need something, I think, to push back on. So that's what we're going to be looking for with with these. Um, they do look fantastic as well with those um, fluorescent pink rings. I don't know how it will come out on, on video, but I think that's going to look really nice. Especially given that we've got black and obviously the LCG pink on there as well. I think it's going to make the truck look amazing. So there we go, all done up nice and tight, ready to go. I'll come back again when I've made up another one, we'll try them on the front and we'll just check the, the depth of those to see how they sit on the actual um, wheel. Okay, so uh, just started to swap out the wheels just so we can see. So the original I, was 10 inches wide. Um, but I thought it'd be interesting. So these have got uh, silicon inserts, these wheels. So we're running at 171. And then these with the, oh, look at that. 114 grams versus 172. That's crazy. So yeah, that looks really, really, and I'm liking the shape of these much, much better. Oh, 114, there we are. But yeah, so we're just swapping them out. Let's get rid of that. Thought that would be interesting for you. Haven't turned it off, turn off. Um, I've lost my proper nice spanner. So we're doing it with the old school axial um, wheel nut. Take this off here and then we'll have a look and we'll be able to see how so yeah, easily clearing all of the portals, beautiful. So that really gives you flexibility. If you want to run a super narrow rig, you can with camper axles, which is what this is running. Um, and that will give you options. Um, too many people are running 2.2 wheels with stretched tires just because they've got the wrong wheels on. It won't take the uh, clearance over the axles so yeah there we go okay so we're going to line it up on the mat we were 10 let's get it there oh so we're pretty much the same with a little bit of tire bulge so okay that's pretty good so there we go we'll give it a go on the rocks by the way how sweet do they look look at that hopefully that's in focus um suits the car um arrows facing forwards on both so i remember to do it right so yeah i'm going to finish off with the other two and then we'll see if we can do a little bit of filming uh actually on some rocks
Thank you. 